Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. Some of you longtime Anime Studio users may recall that the Layer Tools saw a combination or a consolidation in version 9. Basically, you could move, scale, and rotate all with one tool. Well, the same now has happened with your point tools. You'll notice on your toolbar, you no longer have a scale points tool or a rotate points tool. You have what looks like the translate points tool, but when you put your cursor over it, you can see it's now called the transform points tool. And that's because it now holds three different jobs. It can move points, it can resize points, and it can rotate points. So in order to use this new tool, it's pretty simple. First, you can just click on the tool. And in this case, I will alter an eyebrow. And I can just click on that shape to select it. Now, what you'll notice here is we now have two boxes that go around the shape. This is what we'll be working with when it comes to using the different features of the tool. So first, if your cursor is in the middle, you'll notice now that there is a crosshair-like icon on the cursor. This means we can translate or move the shape around. So if we hold down our mouse button, we can just move around wherever we want. So that's how you would move things with this new points tool. Second, if you're looking to rotate, what you can do is place your cursor here then between the two boxes you'll notice now the cursor changes to a rotation type icon. If you click and hold down, you can then rotate your objects or your points. Now you'll notice that as we do this, the box itself is not rotating. When we rotate and release, you can see the box is still maintaining basically the same positioning. And that's because the rotation isn't remembered like layer rotations. Only the points rotate and nothing else, basically. So that is what's going on there, in case you are curious. And finally, you can resize your shapes or your points by using the handles within that inner box. You can see we have some dots here. Now, depending on where you place your cursor is how you will resize. So for instance, if you go into the corner, you can see we can resize the entire object at once. If you go on one of the horizontal points, you can go in and out like this, and you can do a vertical resize as well. Now, some things still remain. For instance, if you hold in shift and then move your object or points to the left or right, you'll notice that I can't go up or down. So you can still constrain how your points move. The same goes for up and down when you are holding in shift. So that still works. Also, holding in shift when rotating will only rotate at 45 degrees. Again, that's similar or the same as to how previous versions of Anime Studio worked. Also, when you are resizing horizontally like this, if you hold down the Alt key while doing this, you can then create a squash effect if you want. So that can be useful for certain situations when you are resizing your objects. And like before, you just click a shape to select it. You can see I have two shapes here on this layer. And I can just click to select them and then the box goes around and then you can work within those points. And finally, if you want to select certain types of points, you can also use the Select Shape tool while using this tool. Now the Select Shape tool is still its own tool, but if you are on a Mac and hold down Command, or if you're on a PC and you hold down Control, and you start to move your mouse around, you can see I can draw out a box here, and I can select the points I want to then work with. So that can be very useful as a quick reference then to your Select Points tool without having to actually go and click on that tool, you can just use a shortcut key for that when you are on the Transform Points tool. Anyway, that's it for the Transform Points tool. As you continue to use this, I believe you'll find that it saves a lot of time 
when you are working on your projects. If you would like more information on Anime Studio, be sure to check out the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.